In this video, we're going to go over unit vectors and in particular, how to find the unit vector in the direction of a given vector. We'll quickly talk about where unit vectors come from and then we'll go through a couple of examples with a vector in the plane and a vector in 3D space and how we would find unit vectors in the directions of these given vectors. The idea of a unit vector is very simple. It's just a vector of magnitude one. One. For example, I might have a vector like this blue guy, and I'm interested in its direction, but maybe I would like to normalize its length, in which case I would want to have a vector that goes in the same direction, but has a length or a magnitude of just one. Then I've still got that same direction, but now I don't have a special magnitude. I just have a nice unit magnitude of one. So how do we find such a vector? How do we find a unit vector in the direction of some given vector V? Well, if V is a non-zero vector, then the unit vector is U just the vector v divided by its own magnitude. This unit vector is going to have length one and the same direction as v. Let's quickly prove these facts, that this vector will have the same direction of v and a length of one. Beginning with the direction, we know that u has the same direction as v because u is just the vector v multiplied by a scalar of one divided by its magnitude. Of course, all of this only works if v is a non-zero vector because dividing by its magnitude can't be a division by zero, so we need to be sure that v is non-zero. But again, u is just the vector v multiplied by this scalar, one over v's magnitude, and that scalar is positive. So multiplying by a positive scalar is not going to change the vector's direction. It's just going to adjust its length. So for sure, u has the same direction as v because it's just v multiplied by a positive scalar. All that remains is to demonstrate that the length of u is one. And that is established in this simple string of equations. We said that u is the vector v multiplied by one over v's magnitude. So then the magnitude of u is the magnitude of v multiplied by one over v's magnitude. Now this magnitude of a scalar times a vector is the same as the magnitude of the scalar times the magnitude of the vector. But the magnitude of the scalar, one over v's magnitude, is just one over v's magnitude. And so this becomes one over v's magnitude times v's magnitude, which is of course just one. So indeed, this vector u, which says we just take v and divide by its magnitude, this is a vector of length one and with the same direction as v. So this is how we find the unit vector in the same direction as a given vector v. Now let's go through a couple examples of doing this type of calculation. So here's the first problem. We want to find a unit vector in the direction of v, which is a vector with components negative two, five. And remember to do this, all we need to do is divide the vector v by its own magnitude. So let's begin by finding the magnitude of this vector v. The magnitude of the vector v is going to be the square root of the sum of the squares of its components. This is a formula you should remember by now. That's just this. So this is the square root of four plus 25. So this is just square root of 29. So now we need to divide the vector v by this magnitude. And we can just write that like this. Our unit vector u is the vector v, but multiplied by one over v's magnitude. Just multiply by this scalar. There are many situations where it's going to be easier for you if you just leave it like this. But in other situations, you may want to distribute it through the vector brackets, giving us this. And that's how you find the unit vector. Let's do another example with three dimensions. So find a unit vector in the direction of v, where the three components are 3, 5, and 4. Again, we have to begin by calculating 
calculating the magnitude of our vector v. So we take the square root of the sum of the squares of v's components. That's the square root of 3 squared plus 5 squared plus 4 squared, which is square root of 50. 50 is 25 times 2, so we could pull that square of 25 out of this and simplify it to 5 times the square root of 2. That's the magnitude of the vector v, so to find the unit vector in the direction of v, we simply need to divide v by 5 root 2 or multiply v by 1 over 5 root 2. And then here is the unit vector. We take the vector v and multiply by 1 over v's magnitude, 1 over 5 root 2. And again, you could distribute this through the vector brackets if you want, but in a lot of contexts, it will be easier to just leave this scalar out front. But I hope this was helpful. To find the unit vector in the direction of v, as long as v is non-zero, just take V and divide it by its own magnitude. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions or video requests.